IG fam. I am live for uh, couples live today. I'm very excited. I'm going to have Corey in America joining me. And uh, my other couple, I don't know where he is right now. He's like shaving or something. Um, so, hey, Bergy. Thank you for joining. Hi, everyone. Um, I already have one guest, so let's see who it is. Uh, no, not. Okay, America, Corey, come join. Um, hey, Hannah. Hi, everyone. Ooh, that is like red. Not realize how red that was. Um, so we're here to talk about some couple stuff. Okay, I found Corey finally. Um, okay, Corey. You hang out with Corey in America. We're going to talk about um, just different things. You guys submitted six pages of questions for us Hello. for the couples. Hi, how are you? I'm terrified. Why? Oh, because. So you got six pages of questions? No, full disclosure, like, Rachel texted us, like, is there anything that's off limits? Because we're going to ask some hard stuff. And I'm like, I, I don't know. We'll see. I feel like nothing that I got submitted was off limits for you. So I think we're good. And, you know, it's funny. It's like, America's late. I don't know where my husband is, to be completely honest. Rachel, America he, and I he, were just on a call. She's hyping herself oh, up. She's she not is. late. Perfect. There she is. Yeah. There she is. Hey, America. My husband is like shaving or something. I don't know. Mm. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> hey, America, you look so pretty. Oh my God, I'm so excited that you're here. Both of you, thank you for joining us on this Instagram Live. I know it's kind of early. So, Corey, it's 10 a.m., right? For yes. you? Okay, perfect. And are you in Nashville, America? I am in Nashville. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, I but love it. Many we're I only four kidding. hours away from each other. Oh, where, where are you at? We're in Alabama, in Birmingham. So oh. we should plan a trip to Dollywood. Mm -hmm. How long does it take for you to get to Dollywood? Is it three hours? Hours? Oh, maybe? perfect. That's like literally right in the middle. So we should totally plan a trip to Dollywood. And then we should hang out and do fun. Okay, I have, as we go live, I have a little baby <laughs> crying. What happened? Okay, go tell daddy, okay? Mommy will be right there. Okay, so I got six pages. This is mom life. Mom life 101. Um, Rachel, speak. let them speak challenge. I don't know what that means. I'm guessing it means, like, go on the challenge. I don't know. Um, so, how do you think I would do on the challenge, Rachel? <laughs> like, are we how do we think? Honest, or do you want me to just, like, hype you up? I want you to be nice and honest. Okay, so in a nice Rachel, mm -hmm. I am going to say that I think you'll be really good at the social games. Thank you. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah. And we can leave no, it. actually, though, I will be honest, Corey, because I watched you doing the puzzles, and you're really smart with, like, the other games, so I think you'll be really good with, listen, if they had that Sudoku puzzle, you would crush it, right? Like, you would crush it. I would do it. great until anything physical popped up, so I think that's what you, that's why you would do really well in the challenge, because you did both. I feel like I would, but then I'm also, <laughs> I'm also, like... At this point in my life, I don't know if I would do good on the challenge. I want mm -hmm. to. And in my head, I think I would do really well. And then in my heart, I'm like, I don't know. Would I actually do really well? Alyssa's on here. She said she's your biggest fan to Corey, Amer Corey. <laughs> oh, thank you, Alyssa. Um, oh, yeah. my God. And again, I don't know. I guess, are we not waiting for you, Brendan? I don't really know. Listen, I swear my husband lives here. It's funny because I had all these comments pop up on my uh, feed. And it was like, Oh, are they still together? I automatically thought they're talking about me and Brendan. And then, <laughs> and then I was like, I'm like, yeah, we're totally still together. You're on my Instagram. I post a ton of family photos all the time. Like, mm. that's all we do. And then I was like, well, maybe I need to make sure people know. Yes, Brendan and I are together. We are married. Um, he's running around, taking care of the kids, I think. I don't know. Adler was having a meltdown a second ago. You know, it's parenting. It's a lot. So speaking of parenting, um, are you guys <laughs> are you guys parenting? Yes, we are trying <laughs> currently. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, but are you have you considered like I know I think are you at Vanderbilt uh, Vanderbilt Corey? Is that right? Yeah, I've got two more summer classes that I'm doing. Okay. So are you gonna go back to Nashville? Yeah, no, no I live in Nashville. I'm just visiting family okay. for a couple of days. Cool. Like up there cool. with him last week because it was his grandpa's birthday, but then I flew out back and he stayed at home. Oh, okay, nice, nice. So do yeah. you two? So you two live together? Yeah, yeah. He just moved in, literally, like what May? Oh, I love that! Isn't it like the 
best when you first move in. You're like, it's so fun because, okay, Brendan and I's first apartment, I'm not even exaggerating, was 400 square feet. It was at Graduate Housing at UCLA. It was, it was a bed. It was a bed with a bathroom. And we had a kitchen and the kitchen was like the tiniest thing ever. Yeah, but it was the tiniest thing ever, but I will tell you that at the end of the day, those like little times, this is ever. <laughs> ah, oh, these snacks are like impossible. Um, here you go. It was the best time because a little apartment, you just, I don't know, you get to know each other better. It's like simple. I really wouldn't give that up for anything. And we lived in the, and you're living in Nashville. So we lived in like the most walkable area in Westwood, which was so nice. How long after Big Brother did Brendan and I get engaged? That's a great question. I think we got engaged. Well, no, I don't think. I know we got engaged. We got engaged in February. <laughs> so we did the whole summer. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess like we went, I moved to Vegas and then I moved in with Brendan maybe in like January. And then in February we got engaged. Right? Is that right, Brendan? Oh, Brendan's right here. Yeah. He's getting the kids water. You know, as when you're a parent, you try to do these lives, like <laughs> it's the whole thing. All right, well, uh, we can get down to it because I literally, okay, I have hot seat questions for you and I have six pages of questions that your fans sent in. So I like, I was dying, you guys. I could, I don't even think we'll be able to get through all of these questions. Um, the first question I do have to ha ask you because this was my favorite one. America, can you please say floaters grab a life vest? Floaters, grab a light vest. Oh my god! Like, I was in CR being like, I want my Rachel moment, but it was yes, so I loved it, and that was my favorite thing ever. So Honestly, I I love that you're such a fan of the show because it's just so fun to watch when people are big fans of the show and they come on and they're just like so excited, and I feel like it's fun to get to know fans because they play different right and i know corey you're a fan of the uh, show is too. anyone else talking in this thing or is it just rachel it's going basically on for, rachel going on for an hour yeah i, I was waiting I feel for like, you yeah right i feel, feel like i had my uh, my brendan moment too i was sitting on the block next to america got yeah. voted out <laughs> like <laughs> yeah well that's what it feels like it right? was well so corey did you set, tell people to vote out america i can't remember i was campaigning against her all week okay. I was fighting for my life. <laughs> yeah, so I wasn't really campaigning. I was just like, you know what? They're going to vote him out regardless. Yeah. Like, all I can do is yes. just talk about, you know, how weak I am and how it's, it's pointless getting me out. And I'm going to take out Matt and Jag. And that's what they wanted to hear. But I had my Rachel moment in the DR. Uh, I was, like, trying to channel, you know, the that energy when I'm, like, uh, it was during OTEV, and I was like, bad guys, stay away from my man. <laughs> and I was like, I hope people get it. Nobody comes in between me and my man. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Can't hear that enough. Oh, my God. Brendan, literally, every okay, he memorized all of my cameo lines. Because, you know, we get, like, the same mm -hmm. people. They ask for the same things for us to stay on cameo. So whether it's like, nobody comes in between me and my birthday, and now I just make him do them. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to throw up every time I hear that. <laughs> yeah, all right, I'll go through some questions with you, and then we do have a fun announcement. So stay to the end of this live because we have a big couples announcement, uh, and we can drum roll for it and everything. But I do have to go through the. I literally got six pages of questions. I don't even need to go six through the hot of questions. six what? pages of questions from, from Instagram. I had to take pictures of them. Oh, also, I will be remiss if I do not mention. I saw that you guys raised twenty one thousand diapers. Um, is that correct? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. packing here in Nashville. Yeah. That's amazing. What yeah, is it for? It was for, um, we're giving away free diapers. There's an organization here in Nashville that takes care of that. And we package them oh. up and then they take these boxes to like families in needs for free because food stamps don't cover diapers. Really? And that's like a necessity. That's so sad. It's yeah. a shame to have people pay for these things that are like essentials. So yeah, we, we did that a few, uh, a few weeks. So food stamps not covering diapers, is that a federal thing or is that just state, local? I honestly, I'm not Tennessee sure. Tennessee has so, the most like bare bones yeah. food stamps. Like I assume California would do a bit better. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, mean, I think it covers coming, diapers. Coming from California, you know, some stuff in the South, you're just like, you get surprised by it. Like, uh, yeah. You know, but. Well, and I'll tell you, when we had our baby in California, we would just go to the uh, OBs. They just gave you diapers. If you needed diapers, they asked every time. So I feel like 
California is a little different, but yeah, yeah. in the South, it is a lot different. Yeah. But 21,000 diapers, that's amazing, you guys. But like we did, we did maybe like 700 of them. <laughs> like there was Still, like 21,000 total. That's so yeah. crazy. Uh, if, when you, if you've ever, you guys haven't had a child, but when you have a kid, you realize you go through diapers really fast. So no, oh like, my gosh. It's when so they're first born, it's like 10 diapers a day. Literally. So. You're and like you, you don't then, even know then, if they're everyone, like everyone dirty. tells you hey oh cloth diapers yeah that's disgusting no, no, so no. it's like <laughs> not gonna get them washed the yeah diapers. and then you have to wash them yeah yeah yes our corn america living together yes they are and we love it they're just not together right this second but they're here on the live and look the way it's framed they're at they're technically sitting next to each other Aww. it looks like they're framed next to each other <laughs> I, I was trying to recreate the picture that you sent me america and brendan got home late and then i was like tired because I wake up at four o'clock now and it's just a lot. I try to do workouts and all these things and yeah, it's a lot. But anyways, Did I tried to create crazy that photo. Filter on? <laughs> no, I do have a filter on, yeah. I do. Okay. I do, you know. Rachel loves these. You can't even tell why'd he why he air you out like I, that. <laughs> yeah, right? Exactly. Why did you call me out like that, Brendan? Because I'm like, why do I have no nothing on my face? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a blob with teeth and eye holes. Okay, well, blob. Then uh, this question is for all four of us. Okay, so Hannah Horn asks, Brendan, Rachel, Corey, and America, um, big brother's favorite couple moments of each other. So I think what she's saying is like, what's your favorite brunchal mm. moment? And we're going to say what our favorite AmeriCorey moment is. Mm. If you don't remember, Brendan and I had a very uh, tumultuous relationship. Tumultuous. Tum tumultuous? Whatever. Oh, See, he always is calling me out. Oh, um, relationship so awful. Awful. Corey probably remembers more than I do. Yeah, I, uh, I remember a lot. I, I get, I'll hand this one to Rachel, too, because I'm really bad about watching. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I, watch, I did watch, but I'm like, I... Okay, my favorite AmeriCorey is your first kiss. I actually have a, I was trying to do an OBS oh, of yeah. this. I know it's so silly, but I have a photo it's of it on my computer. Creepy, um, I am mother. such a creepy mom. I am the creepy mother. But it was so cute. It was so on like it was so innocent and adorable. Um oh th someone's in the chat said the bookie thing. Yeah, you America, call Corey your bookie. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Pookie game bot. Yeah, so pissed and then I immediately went to the DR and I was like that guy this was stinks. messed up. I was because I was so like self conscious in the house because I'm not like this might sound shocking. I'm not like a player, right? <laughs> so, so I go into the house, and then there's America, who's who's America, and then like we kiss after like six weeks of me being like I don't know, I don't know. and then she goes in the dr and is like, all right, I'm ready to go. I was like, that's crazy. <laughs> um, like he's like a woodpecker. What's going on? And I'm a plank. Like <laughs> it was so bad. Oh. But I was like, you know what? I'm willing to help you out, and we're gonna get better. And well, she, you're the one who. You had a segment on the show dedicated to how oh, bad it is. They literally you are. did a full segment of it. Yeah, it was really amazing. So. It was amazing. And that, I, I think, well, listen, Brendan and I got called out by Julie Chen on the night show that we were having sex in Big Brother House. So, yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> So they, they like to call us out as couples. They like to mess with the showmances. And then also, so I remember specifically running to the diary room when Brendan told me he was a physicist. And I was like, I'm in love. That's it. I'm done. This is it. I'm in love. Like, <laughs> it was like. Yeah, no, I thought it was like, this girl's off her own. Yeah, so <laughs> you did not think that. You were so, you were, you're the first one that said I love you. <laughs> I don't even remember this. Oh, oh, yeah. I forgot. Did y'all say it in the house? We did. Yeah, on... Okay, so I was upstairs with Julie. I was HOH. And she asked me, I think she asked me if I loved Brendan. And I was like, yeah, I said I loved Brendan or something. And I was like, oh my gosh, don't tell him I said that. And then I told Brendan, I was like, I to accidentally told Julie I love you. <laughs> that was, so was yeah. Wait, so... Her being the yeah. first one wait, say. which one of you said it first? Um, so um, technically America, but they edited I it out. The DR, during our goodbye messages, we were doing our goodbye messages to each other. It was when the week that we were both on the block and I said it at the end and I was like, oh, he'll see this as he leaves. It'll be cute. But then like minutes but or like an hour before the eviction, he says it in the game room. And the way that he says oh, it too, he's like, God, leave me alone. Like, I, I, <laughs> He's like, I like, like, like you. And I'm like, shut up, say it. Like, what do you mean? You're an adult, grow up. And he's like, I love you. And I was like, I love you okay. too. Oh. That's kind of what I do. I don't like taking the risk. I get far enough so they can like confirm to me whether or not they're gonna say it back. And then I'll say it. Like, that's the way to do it. 
I love that. I forget. Did you guys get engaged in the house? No, no. no. Brennan did like an engagement. No, he wanted trust, it private. Trust me, they, they really wanted yeah. us. Because um, uh, I know. Sure. Oh, what was it? Nicole and Victor did it. Jeff and Jordan. Yeah. yeah. So, oh yeah. No, they wanted us to, but Brennan was like, "No, I'm doing well, it private." Well, first of all, I was like. It, I actually do love her, so I, <laughs> I'm not putting on a show for everyone. I don't want to do this just to just to satisfy the producers and make a, you know, make a moment on reality TV. Like I, I would also, well, you would understand. It's like mm -hmm. kind of like for our first kiss, I put the blanket over our head so nobody would see us because it was like you have no privacy. So it's yeah. like you want some moments to yourself. You don't. You know, there's some things you feel like I I would like not to share with people. Like. Asking her to marry me was something I wanted to do more in private than yeah. public, you know? So. I was thinking. Yeah, but then we ended up getting married on TV, so. Well, yeah. <laughs> it also paid for it. The so. same way. true. It did. And we were like, listen, you're going to pay for the wedding? Then yeah. sold. Because They're weddings are expensive. They're asking us not to get engaged on the show. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what? Well, I was thinking, how <laughs> would we have the best TV moment of all time if we go on the show to get engaged during, like, a veto, and she says no? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Insane. <laughs> oh no! I love that. It would be memorable. Yes, it would be. <laughs> well, and I think because uh, Bailey and Swaggy got engaged on the show too, so we have like a ton of Big Brother couples that have got engaged on the yeah. show. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think it's become an expected thing. That's kind of with like, the showmans. Know. It is because even like they want they want that like you know fairy tale ending, and it's like, listen, when we get off the show, there's like fairy tale. We there. We're still going back to the real world. Like, yeah. <laughs> you got to figure it out. Like. I don't know if America and I was the fairy tale ending they wanted. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, well, be, you guys really like connected more in the jury house too, right? I mean, we no, were we how, were really I don't we know, serious how, in the house. How much time did you guys get in the jury house together? Ten days. Oh, nice. nice. That's a lot though, because we yeah. were in the we were what three we weeks? were we had like two two like two weeks two, two and a half weeks. weeks yeah, you know. But you know, like after you, after being in the Big Brother house, like you're like this jury house is the greatest thing. Oh, ever. oh my. Um, Gila, Ron, and Andrew said hi. Oh. So, yeah. Hey, Gila. Hey, Andrew. Andrew Gordon is, like, our best friend from Big Brother 12. Oh, my um, we, He was God. in our wedding. Yeah, Captain Kosher. He was in the wedding. We're still best friends with... We're actually really good friends with most of the people from both of our seasons. So, I feel mm. like you do end up keeping yeah. in touch. Okay, <laughs> well, who are you? Okay, we're... Come on, let's be realistic. We are, like... There's the... a lot of people we don't talk to, right? You guys I mean, hit up, like, Luan? Also, like, there's... Yeah, we do uh, talk to Luan. Yeah, that's so cool. There's a lot of part where it's just, like, yeah. like, friends from high school. It's like, sure, we're friends. I haven't talked to him for, like, 15 years because we all kind of diverge when that we is start true, getting yeah. older, so... You do, like... But yeah. we do keep it, like... I'm doing this thing with Matt next week. I can't, like, pre-announce yeah. it, I guess. Or, but then I did. I just pre-announce it. I don't know. Anyways, keep on the lookout for that. <laughs> <laughs> We're friendly. We're still really good friends with Matt yeah. Hoffman, with Andrew, with. I mean, we're friends with. I talked to Reagan. Well, we talked to Lane you, and Hayden. You realize I that. Reagan recently, recently, obviously. There's, like, there's community of yeah. uh, people who've all been through the similar experiences, you know. Yeah, and I mean, we. I feel like you have this like, this family that like it's you know. It's well, everyone, everyone who's experienced post-traumatic reality disorder, that's, right? That's mm -hmm. an actual so. thing. <laughs> But it's nice knowing that we have the community and like any city that we go to or travel to, we're like, oh, who's here from yeah. BB? Like, talk to to like meet or hang out and and talk about our experiences. Uh, we hung out with Michelle Costa from BB10. Oh, yeah. Oh, we, we, we love, love Michelle. Michelle. And yeah, yeah, I love her. And I was like, oh my God, Michelle, like this is so insane. We were there with her and Turner from uh, 24. Um, so it was like a mix, but it, it was fun. Like, yeah. Talk to her about her season and her like talking about it like it was yesterday. Yeah. Oh, right? like, a lot like, of people yeah. are asking if we talk to other couples, and yes, I heard you guys got together with Taylor. Taylor. You've got you've gotten yeah. together with a lot of like the other couples, Turner, like, um, and we we do too. We talk to Jessica and Cody. I mean, I don't really talk to Cody, but I do talk to Jessica. We keep in touch with like mm -hmm. like you said, we go to the shows, we keep in touch with people. And also another question I've seen like more than once: Will you do traders? And Corey, can you stop talking about how Traders isn't a good game? <laughs> Look, hey, 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 hey. Is it Traders? Because I, I, I might agree with him because the, the Traders have such a huge advantage in the game. That's what he the, said. My problem is like, Traders is such a great show. Yeah. Alan's the best host of any of these shows I've the seen. The cast amazing. Like, oh, and, and like, in the chat right now. Yeah, we love you, Jessica. <laughs> Thank you for joining. I didn't even know she was in here. I remember both. <laughs> for her for the halting hex I was like, <laughs> oh. but the, the traders is like okay 
the traders have a huge advantage, and then you get the traders, and it's so exciting. And then they make more traders. Yeah, I know. It's just like, well, that's what I, I said. I didn't even understand the rules when she first went on. I was like, wait, they, they keep making more traders? And then how are you supposed to win the game? But, of course, it's like a show. It's a so show. Wanna, I mean, they they're, balance, you're going to always have more. Out, so. Yeah. I mean, really, the, the huge advantage is the person who gets made a trader, like, towards the end, right? Yes. I mean, that's that, like cool. Kate last season. Yeah. I mean, that was amazing. Like she had it all like just set up for her and she just walked in and had such an advantage. I thought too, but you know, it's still hard. It's still hard. Like we saw Kate like struggle with it. So I think it's, it's a really hard game. I will say that it is yeah. a really hard game to play. It is, it's not big brother. Okay. Well, I told Sarita Brittany too. that too. Also, that everyone, like, Brittany, a lot. Yeah, everyone's accusing everybody and it's like, you have nothing to go off of. Just vibes, I guess. Yeah, you know, that's like, all you do. Yeah. No, I know. I told Brittany, I was like, Brittany, you've already done the hard show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was like, it, it's, you have to kind of like use your intuition for the vibes, of course. And then you kind of have to just like think, you know, that it's going to, there's eventually a, a end to it. <laughs> it, it's three. Adler's three now. Isn't that crazy? What? Oh, so, mm. oh, Cam is in. I guess say hi, Cam. Um, I love you. Thank oh, you. Oh my god. You. Here, go with Daddy. Okay, I have another she, question. Paid him to do that. I did pay him to do that. <laughs> I'm taking him to the water park after this. Um. <laughs> all right. A happy couple question. Mm. Uh, will Corey and America do Big Brother 26 content together? And this is from. Pink dot J N C H U R I K I. <laughs> Love the name, first of all. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I mean, we have stuff planned. We're not going to do like an organized episode podcast thing, but America has watched forever and tweets all the time. So I assume she'll be dominating Twitter. The live feeds will be up, yeah. like, at all times in the living room. I will be watching. I will be tweeting. I'm sure we'll talk about it on, like, lives and stuff, but it won't be, like, anything organized, I don't think. Okay, yes, well, right. we have a podcast i just started a podcast with jen hoffman and stephanie and trichelle so well you have to come on it like we talk about all the like we're going to talk about live feeds all the things you know i i love watching the live feeds the only season i couldn't watch was big brother 15 because my sister was on and it was just like yeah. too it, i had to take a step back i'm sure Corey, your brothers probably said the same thing i just couldn't do it it was just like it does make you a little insane it makes you so insane you can't do anything about it no. you just listen no, my and then you get so mad can handle it i'd have like one bad conversation with mimi and it would just she'd spiral for the day uh, yeah. like, i heard america and Corey, you have a patreon can you plug the patreon yeah yeah america and Corey patreon we do a bunch of stuff we do have like a little podcast uh comes out weekly and then Corey has a couple of segments he has a strategy corner where he'll talk about like anything strategy uh big brother right i don't know babe what do you I've, it could be anything I've like i i've done I've, <laughs> I've done big brother winners rankings uh rachel you're number one of oh. course um <laughs> of course i did i mean today i'm doing ranking everyone who's played in the hunger games oh. from the book it could be really whatever and then we uh america does her book club okay which oh my god i love that america i want to come on thank yes. you invite me i'm in i want to come i i'm trying to do books more i I'm just like i may do books more <laughs> i do books more i have um i you think have part. i might have adhd so i i try to read and then i'm like halfway through and i'm like i need to keep just i need to do it and just keep going i have the hardest part like, I can be on TikTok for hours. I cannot read for more than like 30 yeah. minutes. But this is a way of like holding myself accountable and actually finishing a book. We did Gone Girl last oh. month and that was so fun. Okay. And I, was, oh, I want to switch it up. It was kind of intense, right? So we're doing Red, White, and Royal Blue. Uh, I don't know. It's a movie <laughs> on Netflix. So it's seen it. the first president, the first son of the United States starts uh, a relationship with a prince in England. Ooh. And uh, it's a rom-com, it's a cute book, and uh, it, it's been a lot of fun. We're almost I love perfect. that! Okay, I'm into it. I'll, I'll definitely jump in for that one. All right, I have to ask you more questions, and then I know, like, we don't have all morning, so I don't want to, like, hold you up. Um, we have, like, an announcement, so keep sticking to the end. I mean, I literally have six pages. We're not going to get through all of these. I am so sorry. I will send them to Corey in America, and I will put them on our... I'll either have them answer them for you or I'll put them on my Instagram and have them answer. Um, or they can so, always just answer on their podcast. Yeah, that's true. You could answer on your podcast. Mm -hmm. So Nina Hawk 44 wants to know, 
what's AmeriCorps' next big adventure? Um, what are you doing during Corey's gap year? And do you have any exciting plans? Take you want to take this one? So oh! What? What'd you say? No, Corey's there's no taken. plans. I, I'm, I'm pawning this off. Like, <laughs> basically, what we've been trying to figure out is for this gap year, where are we going to live? Because okay. our lease is up in October, and then I don't get into law school theoretically till you know, that starts in August. I moved to Nashville in January for Corey, because I was like, oh, like, my lease ended in New York while I was on the show. I came back home to Texas, and I was there for a few weeks, and I was like, let me move to you. It makes sense. I'm not doing anything here in Texas. Uh, let me be closer to you. So I've been here a few months, six months, and it's not as walkable as you would think. And I'm like right in the middle of the city, but I don't drive. So I have a hard time getting around and doing stuff. So we're thinking of moving somewhere that's a little bit more walkable. But also, I'm totally down with Nashville as long as he drives me everywhere. <laughs> Corey just fine. So that's also all right with me. But do you not yeah. drive? I don't. I don't. I, I just never got my license. And then I, right now, I'm like, I'm 28 and I've never had a reason to get one. I lived in New York last year. Or um, that's like years. a full YouTube show. <laughs> <laughs> America learns to drive. I have to walk around everywhere. I got hit by a car a few months ago oh because people are just not used to pedestrians here in Nashville. This, so, like, the person. No, in Alabama, too. This story, I know. This story is, so, America is walking to a grocery store. It's like right next door to get wine for the bachelor, right? Bachelor, bachelor Monday. Bachelor Monday. And yeah. she is like going, she gets hit by a car, calls me, and goes, I just got hit by a car. I'm like, oh my God, let me come get you. She goes, no, 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 I need to get this wine. <laughs> she gets okay, up. It sounds like a very serious Yeah, injury. it wasn't a bad serious. No, right. I, I, was yeah, fine. I, I got hit by a car in LA. Yeah, I was riding my bike and uh, a car pulled out right in front of me and sheared off the front tire. And I did a full front flip and literally, yeah, I came home. I was all scraped up, and it was a month before we were about to do the maze race the second time. Mm. And I was like, I can't be injured. Oh my god, <laughs> yeah, no, I know. So, uh, I was like, but you can still do amazing race, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we, so. I, I was like really thought that that was going to not let us go on the show. Would you guys do amazing? I mean, I know you're going to say yes, of course we would say no, but is it something on your list of things you want to do? Yeah. Ask of course. <laughs> okay. like, I'm not going to say no. It, seems, it would well, seem like so much fun. You know, America and I fight about, about, about this it. a lot. So, like, I'm, I've watched the show a good amount, and I'm very confident we would not be a very strong pairing, mostly because she can't drive, and I'm really stressed <laughs> out as a driver and navigator. And she has never seen the show before. Is like, we kill it. We do great. I'm like, yeah, I can ask for directions. Like, that's okay. <laughs> and the truth is, is it, 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 when it turns out, now they've made it, I think, much easier than it used to yeah. be. Yeah. But it's a, it is a lot easier than you expect. And now I think they've restricted a lot of the self stuff. So you're like, you, you kind of are just like taking directions and going. Yeah. But and we've had two big brother couples win. Like, but when we went on, Rachel did not know how to drive stick. No. So we had to, oh, I, I had to teach her beforehand. And it was like, thank God she didn't have to drive stick because we would have lost. It she, was bad. Yeah. yeah. She was really and then when I went on with my sister, even I, Alyssa drove the stick. So it wasn't ever like, I didn't ever have to like really stress out about driving stick. You actually don't drive as much as you think you do. Yeah. Like there's only like a few legs that are self-driving. And so Derek and Clara, another couple, we do try to like keep up with, we love them too. Um, but they also want amazing rates, right? And like, it is such a different show now and there's not as much like going around having to like navigate like, hey, go dr drive 30 miles to go find this like location. Yeah. So it's not like, they don't really do that as much. We, what was our longest drive, self-drive? You drove through Italy or something, No, right? our longest drive was, so we went, we landed in, in London. Oh, that's we had to right. drive up oh, to yeah. Liverpool, and it's probably like, Three maybe hours. like a two hour drive. Yeah. We got stuck in traffic. Yeah. And it like dead stop traffic for like two to three hours. So it ended up taking us like seven hours to drive. And we yeah. got there at like three in the morning. It had to be up by like six <laughs> to race yeah, that was so, so frustrating. That, that was the right <laughs> part. Also for me, it was, in England, you drive on the left side. So like, oh yeah, the, the our, our sound guy kept saying, "Hey, you're you, you need to get over," because I kept I kept like drifting, you know, because I'm not used to driving. <laughs> and also, <laughs> when we jumped in the car. I jumped in the car right at the airport to get going, yeah. and I realized I was like, "Oh, the steering wheel's on the other side." <laughs> so. Yeah, and I like 
it is kind of complicated when you drive through London. Like it is scary. Mm. There's like cars, like they have a million of those roundabouts. Yeah. That's all they like. They love those yeah. things. And so it was a little bit, uh, it was intense. Yeah. All right. I have to ask about this tramp stamp that America is getting or had got. Like it says, Corey, uh, crew decay said, America, if you could pick out a tramp stamp for Corey, mm. I guess you guys have like talked about this before. I, I, I joked about it in the house oh but it's okay default. maybe that's what they're talking about okay She's like, i'm open to yeah. it <laughs> what hey those are coming back in oh god those are coming back in style there's some things that should not come back yeah <laughs> the problem is like i can't like if i get america's name tattooed somewhere i'm just gonna look like well, a patriot like it's not gonna be like true. i guess that'd be yeah. good you like, could get, like her initials because i want to mm. do we neither one of us like have a tattoo i'm like keep telling myself i'm gonna get my our wedding date tattooed on my finger my ring mm. finger and i feel like every time i say it i'm like i don't know i have to place it well first of all she can't even she, i mean she was like crying and getting the vaccine so i mean yeah it's like, i like really don't, I, I don't like needles, do or needles or shots or yeah you know. that'll hurt neither of us have tattoos we joked around about it i don't know it'd be like a big heart in my name right babe oh, oh that would be cute <laughs> right <laughs> In the tramp stamp, yeah. that'd be good. I would like. Yeah, no, look, I'm, I'm cool. gonna get my name across her neck. Okay, yeah. That's... Ooh, like a choker. Brendan that'd be comes cool. up with these like ridiculous tattoos. For, like, actually, Brendan and I do talk about tattoos, and he really does come up with. Like one time, it was like a giant thing on my thigh. I was like, Brendan, yeah, you know, like, can we be like, uh, you know, a discreet tattoo, like something normal, not like these giant Brendan on my neck, like giant tattoos. I feel like in this new age of like influencers, what if like. Right, the tramp stamp, lower back, like patreon.com slash America. Yeah. Yeah. Cool that QR code. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that, QR code. That'd be cool. The press for you too, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Okay, um, would, like, I guess, would you go back for Big Brother? Yes, we already know that. I I know you guys get asked some of these questions a million times because I listen to your podcast. I actually listened to one you did just recently with Sharon Tharp. Yeah. Um, like right before we came on and did this, because I was like, I need to know what they're talking about, so I don't talk about all the things. Well, I have a question for you all, yeah. if that's okay. So, America and I, you guys went on immediately after you played yeah. the first time. Yes. So, I think if America and I were to go on 26, which we're not, I think both of us would be willing to, like, cut each other at Final Four or Three. <laughs> what? Like, that's kind of how we... <laughs> you say that. Well, you at the end of the day, we're both... Long. You make it a three or four, you're definitely not cutting each other. Yeah, don't cut each other. And also, like, why would you... Because it really it increases the chance that both of you are really going to win. Because if one of you yeah. wins, both of you win. So, this is the first time I'm hearing about this. So I'm like, Corey, <laughs> what? Okay, yeah, and he's not, like, close enough for you to, like, knock his, like, cap off right now. But, Corey, we're, like, thinking side. about doing that right now. <laughs> well, here's, here's my concern. Like, at the end of the day, America was dropping hints all season that she's like, oh... I love, like, Rachel and, and Allison from season four. Like, you know, they're going to make the big move and win the game. And I'm, she's talking oh. to me. I'm like, what does that mean? Like, okay, so <laughs> listen, when I was on Big Brother with Danny and Dominic, I remember they asked me in the DR, like, would I take Danielle uh, to the final two over Brendan, right? Yeah. Like, no, no. And, but I was like, you know what? Maybe I would have to think about it because, like, you know, Danielle and I, final two would be a great final two. And I think I could still beat her. And if I win, it's like me. And if I win, it's like Brendan wins. And we were engaged yeah. in everything. But then, like, no, like, we're not doing that. Because, like, also, you can still win the second place prize. One That's of you is guaranteed first, one's guaranteed second. And then, like, yeah, no, you're not going to do that. That's also your person. Like, I mean, I, I do have a theory after watching. I mean, I haven't watched that much Survivor. God knows there's like a million seasons mm -hmm. now. But at least with Natalie and Nadia, when they went on, yeah. because we knew them from race, and I saw this, it's like she, you know, uh, who Nadia gets voted out like first, right? Yeah. I have this theory that like if you're a couple that goes yeah. in and it's yeah. like a couple's esque season and one gets knocked out first, I think. That person increases the likelihood it's that they true. will make it to the end. Well, that because they become that a scares me so much, Brendan. Because yeah. like, America and I go on yeah. again. I cannot envision a path where I don't sit next to America yeah. and get evicted six. Yeah, like it just yeah. feels like it's what's gonna happen. Don't I mean, so, you will. So, I mean, yeah. the thing is, is like people don't understand this because when you go in and you play it together, like you have a, a a second person you're playing with, yeah, it's so much harder to play than by yeah. yourself because you are always having to think about the consequences of like if I. Well, if I were to use a veto on somebody else that's on the block, well, she could go home, right? Yeah. Or she could be nominated. So mm -hmm. it's like there's a lot of options that get taken off the table because 
you're not playing by yourself. And why, at the end of the day, why would you get rid of your person? Like, what? Like, it doesn't make sense. So, like, it's like the people, the other people in the house are always going to be like, we have to split up the couple. Like, even if you're not doing anything, even if you're in alliance with yeah. all the per people, like, I always say the best card to play is to be the third wheel in a couple's yeah. showmance mm -hmm. because you're always going to be the person that is has the safety from both of them and then you're never going to be the tar the main target between the two couples so it's like you have to think like strategically but okay so someone asked a good question for brunchal advice so this is from sarah knack um if corey chooses law school in a city america hates how will no. you handle that have you already chosen your law school no i, I i'm studying for the lsat okay. now um okay. But yeah, I, I wouldn't apply. do that. <laughs> but I feel like, no, he's like considering me and all. I, I think yeah. so, right? Like we're talking about what cities he wants to apply in. Well, like, that's what Brendan got is, is the match. So they do a match program for his residency. Yeah. And it was literally like, okay, here's the match. This is where I, we could go. This is where I want to go. And these are the interviews. And then like, we, it was basically yeah, so like. Essentially, she was like, uh, like Chicago was a place that yeah. I really. I like I like their program, the people, and she's like, I can't live in snow. No, I, I was like, snow. I'm not doing Chicago. Yeah. But and then like New York was another place. Yeah. He got into Columbia, and they really liked him at Columbia. And I was, like, was like, okay, now we got, now uh, we got yeah. two kids, two young a dog, kids, a dog, squeezing and, into like a tiny little apartment yeah. in Manhattan. We already sucks. lived for a thousand yeah. square feet in LA, yeah. and for like years, I'm telling you, like I told you, the 400 square foot room in 475 okay, oh sorry 475 in graduate <laughs> housing so like i i feel like that's really important and it's nice that you're including her so i think the our advice is like you just you do it like when you're when you're in love and you're young well, i mean like, in law school you, you, you do have a, i mean there's so many different yeah, law yeah, that's schools, true. Right? so you do have a lot more options like for me yeah. it was hard because the programs that i was looking at were very small so like out of like 20 programs, I was kind of limited to what I could do. So at least with law schools, you do have a lot more options, you know. Come to Birmingham. <laughs> we'll hang out. <laughs> is it walkable? Is it walkable? It is, I, well, no, it sounds kind of downtown walkable. Birmingham. Yeah, I mean, downtown walkable. It's walk like any big city, right? Yeah. So yeah. any big city. I'm sure Nashville is walkable right in the main part of the city. Well, they right? live in the main part. But the it's problem is, well, Nashville's walkable, but it's just bars. Oh, really? There's not like uh, yeah. a mall or a movie theater or anything. It's oh, well, just then we, bar, bar, bar. Do, Then Birmingham, like where the UAB area is, mm -hmm. they do have like, um, they have like, you know, bars and restaurants and movie theaters and they have like a grocery store and like coffee shops. And so I think it is more walkable. Also, I hear that like um, everyone loves Tuscaloosa. So like Alabama, you guys could come out here and you could scream Crimson Tide all the time. <laughs> old. We'll be neighbors. I I'm love to be your too. neighbor. Okay, I'm getting yelled at if we don't start this announcement. But also like I still have so many questions for you. We haven't even like gotten to all the questions. All right, so announcement, announcement, announcement. We are doing a, a couple's Big Brother cruise. Wait, it's not just for couples. <laughs> it's By the Big end Brother of it. Cruise. That, that was my brain thinking how fun it would be to, to go cruising with couples. Um, it's a cruise. So it's for called the pre or what post game cruise. Mm -hmm. And we have Janelle and Kesar, my sister Alyssa, Cameron, Corey in America, Brendan and I, Michael from the Traders is one of the hosts for the show and he's going to be running around helping us. Um, it's going to be super fun. It is on um, the Utopia of the Seas. I had these photos I was going to send, but you guys, I was looking at these water slides. They are insane. The yeah. water slide. Oh my gosh. I have pictures. I can show Brendan. He can like, like tell you guys how crazy these water slides are. So these water slides are like insane. There's, there's like 18 water slides, 10 bars, the Utopia of the Seas. Like there's a, a uh, splash bar, there's mini golf, there's a splash bar. A splash bar, like a bar where you like go and get a drink in the pool and you're like, there's mini golf. There's like just so many different fun is it things. A swim to up do. bar? Maybe. Is that what a splash bar is? I, I don't, don't know. know. I, that's what it sounds like, right? I've heard bar. There's yeah. bar, a lot of bars. There's a lot of good there, dining. There, so she's showing me the picture. Yeah, the yeah. slides do the it The water cool. slides are crazy. Yeah. Like, y'all, they're yeah. really fun. My kids are going to have a blast. So they have two doing kids stuff.
stuff. Uh, if you're bringing kids, it is family friendly. There's not a game. So we are doing the cruise of deception that is separate. There's not a game for this one. This one is like, uh, hang out with the Big Brother cast, um, you know, do some karaoke. We're, oh, Brendan and I are doing a comedy show. So Brendan and I are like, we're getting into comedy. Yes, he is. He's doing it. I don't know why he acts like that all the time. Yeah. So we're doing a comedy show. Um, I don't get asked about this stuff. I get told about this stuff. You know, that's how it works, right, Corey? Right, exactly. Corey? Yeah. Right, Corey? <laughs> You're not cutting me at final three or four? Right, Corey? Yeah, I know. <laughs> You would, I, I don't want to hear it. It's me, America, Bowie, Jane. America and Bowie are going to the final two. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, at least you have Corey's vote then, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> okay, everyone said Corey and America should do comedy with us. Actually, we should get that. Maybe that's an offsite thing. We should get together. Couples, little couples, comedy room. Mm. I'm like totally into that. I like the Corey's, your like dry sense of humor would be really fun. Brennan has a dry sense of humor. And America and I are just mm. like, out there crazy like woo! <laughs> um so the cruise is gonna be really fun it is uh we're booking rooms now we are doing a small 200 person group so for this cruise it's not gonna be a lot so it is gonna get sold out quickly um you can go online to postgamecruise.com um look at this water slide i i'm showing brennan all these crazy photos yeah, it's like, pretty cool the water slides are really epic and that you will be able to find me in the karaoke uh Mm -hmm. I will be Which there. Uh, you have a song? I, mean, I, I have a, I have several. My, if I'm really nervous and I, I, I don't know anyone, uh, Neil Diamond, Sweet Caroline, always. Yeah, he someone. always does. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a go to. It's song. hard. Yeah. It's hard. And he's really good yeah. at it. And he's like he. I remember we were in Vegas and we were like at a karaoke bar in Vegas, just like a random dive bar, and like he lit, starts singing and like lit up the whole room everyone starts coming over and like thinking it's like some celebrity thing i mean you are a celebrity so hey, yeah, yeah hey, hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it was, he was it's really good he does a good job and him and, and then, uh, Eric as, the night pro it. as the night progresses to get a little drunker we will start singing like like a virgin oh yeah uh, <laughs> maybe we do some britney spears definitely oh spice girls we light up some spice yeah. girls in our house mm. i know that that's a little bit you know not your generation but <laughs> Oh, I, we know Spice Girls, right, Corey? Yeah, I wanna be. Okay. Song. Okay. <laughs> so no. I love it. I love it. Yeah. So this this cruise is gonna be super fun. Janelle is going. Kaser is going. Um, and by the way, guys, this is actually a really big deal that we got Kaser because he doesn't do anything ever. <laughs> so I'm so excited. Janelle and Kaser are both coming. It's gonna be fun. It is family friendly. You can bring your kids. There's childcare on board. There's a lot of like kids stuff on board. Well, it sounds like we're gonna have like three generations of Big Brother players, right? Yeah. Mm. The old school, the like middle school. Are we middle school? I guess. Yeah, we're middle school and like new school. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Are we considered old school now though? Is like, it, be honest. Be honest. Middle school and high school. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. In my head, it's divided like pre-15 and then post-15. I don't know. How about? What do you think, Corey? I'm trying to do the math of how old I was during Big Brother 12. And it's not, it's not good. <laughs> Corey, wait, how old were you during Big Brother 12? You were like. So what year was it? It was, was like 2000. Okay, so I was nine. Nine? Nine, yeah. yeah. You're like those kids that we get from, we'll get kids from time to time yeah. who are like, like eight, nine, ten. And they'll come up to yeah. us and be like, oh, uh, uh, we loved you from Big Brother. It's like, how did you watch us on I Big know. Oh, yeah. And it's a sister. <laughs> She yeah. has a little sister. She's 10 years old and she has seen every really? season. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's every crazy. Season. Everyone in the chat is saying that we are old school. So I, I, okay, this is probably because I was on season 12 and 13. You're not I old school. There's no way. I don't consider me old school. I consider like Janelle and Kaysar. Well, I, I, think, I think we were like in the transition because, you know, there was the, the, the game definitely changed, right? I mean, Corey, yeah. you I both can probably attest to that. So it's like the difference between because when I came on Big Brother, I hadn't watched Big Brother at all, so yeah. it was all new to me. And when I started watch, going back and watching older seasons, it was like, yeah, it was a totally different game, right? I think I mean, that like, like All Stars was the end of old school, and then season eight to like yeah. fifteen was the middle, and then like after like Derek and Cody and them, it's like all yeah, right, now we're okay. uh, that's kind yeah. of what I feel like too. And I think like the middle school, like us, like we're middle school. I feel like it's a totally different game than than now, and then a different game than it was. Okay, we're we're getting paged by the children. Um, 
So there's 10 pools on the cruise. There's 18 slides. There is a splash, like splash bars. There is a really cool surfing thing that I'm expecting Corey to win. I'm hoping oh, yeah. he'll win. Of course. Corey. I just, Can't in my head, I picture you being a good surfer. I don't know why. You <laughs> won't be disappointed. Swim. Oh my I... gosh, you don't know how to swim yet? <laughs> America. All right. He only knows how to walk. So that's the only mode. mode of transportation I have are my feet. Like, that's, <laughs> that's it. Okay, America, we're going to go. We'll do driving lessons. <laughs> I'll teach you how to drive. I'm a really bad driver, but, like, I volunteer. I, I will be your you. tribute. <laughs> trust you. Um, and we can, we can learn how to swim together. I'm like, Brennan and I love swimming. We used to swim for fun and like our kids swim. So we will, we will go through the swimming lesson. Brennan used to be a swim coach. I don't know if you remember his intro yes. on Big Brother. Yeah. He is a swim coach. So that, that was life changing for me. Um, he gets to teach our kids. He does all the swimming stuff. So nice. he would be happy to teach you America. Okay. We'll have that after the oh. comedy show or before. <laughs> Perfect. No, let no after this. That could be the comedy sidebar. Comedy show. We are doing a comedy show with America and Corey on the cruise. We have and we have a full year for this. Okay, you guys can mm. start preparing. Brendan and I are doing a comedy show August sixteenth in Birmingham. So we're doing. We have a full year now to prepare. Does for the Brendan couple. know this? <laughs> oh no, he does know. He does know. Yeah. Okay. He knows. Yeah, he knows. Cool. It's uh, it is on the calendar. We share calendars. That's when you know you're like old, old couples when you share your calendars together. I don't, do you share calendars yet? We haven't gotten okay. there yet. We Corey, don't have much on the calendar. <laughs> <laughs> What's on the calendar? We have like July 17th and 18th for the BB premiere. Yeah, we have like <laughs> cruise next year. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, well, you'll start to get more things on your calendar that you'll be, sh that you'll be sharing. Okay, so the Facebook group is uh, facebook.com backslash postgamecruise. And go to the Facebook group, ask to be accepted. Um, all of the information for what's going on in the cruise will be in the Facebook group. Um, look, there's seven beaches. Um, the perfect day at uh, Coco Cay, which is the private Royal Caribbean mm -hmm. island. That is going to be really epic. You can get like a cabana. You can hang out on the beach. You can just kind of like come hang out with us while we teach America to swim. Just, maybe maybe wait, that you is, can't swim. No, I just told her you're. Oh my gosh. I know you're going to teach her how to swim. Yeah, I, I volunteered. I, I did. I coached uh, swim for five years. Yeah, so. mm -hmm. I, right. I year old all the way up to uh, seventeen. So yeah, and I, America is only what? How old are you? Twenty six. You're good. I'm twenty eight. Twenty eight. Okay, perfect. I'm not great. They used to do. At camp, they used to divide us into like the great swimmers with the dolphins, and then there'd be like the fish. They put me in the starfish. <laughs> it was mad. so I could I could stay afloat, but I, you know I could still lessons from too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. So we have uh, I have a good one from Greenhorn Grove. He said, um, "I was really locked in as a married couple when she forgot her phone at work, and I just handed her mine and said, use this. You don't need one today.'" And he's saying because of the sharing wow. of the schedules. Wow. So yeah. The, I totally get that. <laughs> like that's how much Bre Brendan and I's like schedule things up. I, I get messages from like notifications for like his meetings and everything, and I'm like, why do I need this? Like, well, need yeah, this. and I'll ask her, what is this in the calendar? Yeah. Oh, he does ask me all the time. He's like, why don't you put that in the calendar? I put it in the calendar. It's like, yeah. yeah, but where? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you got all this junk in here. Right? Well, now you get all my like Amazon Live notifications. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I got your twelve Amazon Live messages. Yeah. She'll send like... me stuff to herself. Yeah, she like send it to me <laughs> so she can have a copy of it. Yeah. So, so yeah. you got a lot to look forward to. Sinking yeah. calendars. It's a big fun married couple thing. <laughs> we'll get there. That's the next step. <laughs> yeah. Wait, America, can you ride a bike? That's a question in the chat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 If I said no, yeah. right? <laughs> Yeah, we wouldn't be Quarters. surprised if you said no, but we would teach you how to ride a bike. <laughs> Adore's learning how to ride a bike right now. We get it. Yeah, you guys are <laughs> learning together. Yeah, mm. exactly. Tandem bike. So there's there's a lot of bars on this cruise. There's really good food. Um, it's gonna be really fun. It's a short cruise, so it's not like a seven day cruise. It's what four days, four day cruise. It's gonna be a really great time um, it's, it's when is it when it's gonna be so this is gonna be june 9th wait why do i not have this in front of me yeah 2025 yeah. june 2025 and 40 is perfect it's the perfect amount of time to spend with us before they get sick of me and corey yes. and never you know, <laughs> they will never get sick of you, but it will be also there's a surprise guest 
that we did not mention. So we have a surprise guest that's going to be coming on. Um, so I think you can expect a lot of fun surprises. Is there a casino? I think there's a casino on every cruise. I think so, right? I feel oh. like a lot of cruise, just because you go like into international waters, they all have casino rooms. Yeah. I don't know if this one has a casino. I'm, I, I, I love casino been, games. I don't think there's a cruise ship without a casino. Yeah. Okay. Mm. All right, wait, have you two, oh, right. what's your casino game? I, the slot machine? I don't know. I don't really go to the casino like that. I've never, and Corey, I know Corey has it. He turned, oh no, you turned 20 I had I had an online phase. I was, I was always blackjack, but. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. okay. An online phase. An online phase counts. I have, so, I have an ongoing online phase. Right. <laughs> And we'll teach you uh, how to play craps. Look, we have yeah, a full craps setup. Craps by far is the most enjoyable yeah. game to play because <laughs> when you win, everybody at the table wins. Yeah. So it's, a, it's like a group. Yeah, experience. but what about when you don't win? Well, then they just, and... <laughs> you just hand the dice yeah, over. Yeah, you just let but someone else But you actually else. get to actually touch something and roll yeah. the dice. Right. And remember. blow on, America, you can blow on the dice yeah. to give good luck to everyone at the table. <laughs> and then when they win, they think you're like magic. It's crap. Mm. <laughs> how do you practice to learn all these games? Yeah. yeah, they said, will there be lives on the cruise? Uh, well, we don't have anything planned and you never know. So the best way to catch us live is by going on the cruise. Um, it is a super affordable cruise. Um, we only have 200 rooms available. So it is going to sell out very quickly. Yeah. We're doing a comedy room and they're they're into the comedy show with us. Oh, God. So there is going to be a couples comedy show. I don't know if Janelle and Casey are going to get jealous about that. You know, mm -hmm. they might, they might want to come join in and bring their significant others too. I know my sister's gonna try to get in on that, so maybe we'll just keep it real couple, big big, big brother couples. We'll exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the real connections. I mean, honestly, I don't think all they need to do is like talk to us, you know, put us on stage and just ask us questions, and it'll turn into a comedy show. That is true. I the comedy of errors. That's yeah. what it is. How could you call your connection real if you haven't sat on the block together? That yeah. is true. I do agree with that, and you have you have done that numerous times. Twice. How many times were you on the block? Twice. Twice. Yeah, twice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But the thing is, when you guys would sit on the block, someone would win the veto. Yeah. For us, we would need Jag to win or the like veto that. and take one of us yeah. off. <laughs> that is true. Well, I mean, that's the hardest part about winning veto when you're sitting next to the person. Because, yeah. like, one of you comes off and one of you still stays. So yeah. it's like, even... We would have to, like, negotiate with, yeah. like, whenever, whenever we would be on the block together, we always had to do this, like, big negotiation with the HOH. Like, we would go in there and just be like, even if we didn't think we could, we would just be like, we're going to win veto. So you are our next target if you do not pull For us, us it was camp. easy. For us, we yeah. could just backdoor cam every week. No, like, we for were us, fine. But, uh, I negotiated a glass of wine from Jack. I and, like that. Uh, <laughs> I like that. Good. The glass of wine in the Big Brother house, people don't understand. That is like a big ticket item. It's so, uh, liquor. That's always my favorite question to ask Big Brother people. So how often were you guys getting alcohol in the house? What? God, it's so bad. Week on Sundays, we really? knew we could expect. Sometimes they oh. would, be, you know, be more relaxed and give it to us like on a on yep. a Monday or Tuesday, but starting on like Sunday. day fifty. And it started day fifty. Oh my god, oh my really? Gosh. And you know, they would give us like. It was 10 of us left. They give us two and, bottles of wine. Hey, honestly, I mean, people almost go on the block over like alcohol. Yeah. Like, hey, you had, you had two America was what are you doing? pissed at me. So oh, yeah. I, I went HOH. I got six Smirnoff Ices, which was a bad call by me. <laughs> and then, and then I, I hide the alcohol in the storage room. I'm like, all right, America, let's go. I walk out. Sari corners me, goes, where she, is it? She did not corner me. No. She did not I'm corner cornered. me. He was she was 20 feet away. She just asked, like, no, like, in her nice Siri self voice, like, oh, Corey, what do you got there? And he's like, here, Siri, take two of them. He told so quickly. Yo, you played with Siri. You, you get it. It's hard. <laughs> I love that. No, see, that's the thing, right? At the end of the day, it's like, well, we got it every day on both of them. Well, then seasons. people were also like, yeah. like, I think Matt we Hoffman hide was it. like, he was like saving his beers so yeah. he could like hide them in his stuff yeah. so he could have like a whole bunch of beer at one time. Yeah, oh, 100%. Because you, know? you get like one a day and it's like, uh, what are you going to do? Every day is insane. Yeah. Okay. Like that. Okay, I do have the, before we go, I have a few questions I have to get. They're good ones. These are like more hot seat questions. What is your partner's most annoying habit? This is from CityGal524. Oh, I have it. Easy. Oh, I can answer this. <laughs> he does not drink water. He's dehydrated, mm. dehydrated all the time. And then he's like laying there like, oh, I don't feel well. <laughs> and I'm like, because you haven't drank water in two days, he gets like, I don't even have them around, but he gets like the flavored water, zero sugar, yeah. okay. ice yeah. stuff. And 
calls that hydrating. And I'm like, no, no. you have half a bottle every week. You are like severely dehydrated. Your body is like screaming for help. <laughs> uh, that's annoying. Oh, I love that. What about you, Corey? Always getting on my ass about the water. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, look, every, this, there's a lot of water in this. It's the, it's the I mean, is there though? Is what there else am I drinking? What are you doing with a Diet Coke? Okay, this is that. Wait, are you one of those Diet Coke in the morning people instead of coffee? He's a Dr. Pepper guy. Oh, oh in no. the house, in the house, they had like the two liter bottles. And it took me to like week six to realize I was the only one drinking them. And I'm looking at these six <laughs> empty liters. And I'm like, oh, no. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, Corey. Oh, yeah, no. not good. Yeah. I actually, I don't know. Like, Brendan and I, I feel like I have so many annoying habits. That... Oh, yeah. Well, you guys want to start a list? Yeah, exactly. Mm. Uh, should I start from the A's or the Z's? Yeah. But that, like, now I can't, like, just think of just one. Well, when you're married, it's different. Yeah. Because you can't, you know, the, the list never ends. <laughs> yeah. But, um... What, 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 I mean, I don't even know what to say. It's like I know I don't even know what to say either. Plus, like you know, when you live together and you're married together mm -hmm. for twenty thousand yeah. years, you uh you get a new list <laughs> part every day. No, you know what drives me crazy when you leave your floss on the sink because I'm like you do. Oh my god, all the time he leaves his floss. No, Lies. no, he will floss. And he's like in a rush, or like one of the kids calls us or something, and he leaves the floss on the sink. And I'm like, oh my sink. God. Oh, yes, you do. And then the trash can. Yes, right there. We, we have, have the trash, trash can. can. We you have one. No, you do not. Just, not every time. No, Look, I, I get no. it, Brendan. I get it. <laughs> I'm with you. No, that drives me crazy. And then the shaving, because then there's like, little shave hair. yeah i'm sorry that i shave i apologize no, there's little shave hair, but my shave hairs are even grosser and so i won't judge you on that one and my hair i don't know i shed in my hair in the bathroom sometimes i forget to take it off the bathroom shower so i know that's good. Mm. yeah okay okay so this is where we're going i'm just i'm admitting <laughs> my own flaws on the instagram live for oh. all these people yeah you're really really hard hitting <laughs> with that one mm. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I I can't even go with her because I mean, this is like a, just a million. Like, I love Rachel. She's just all over the place half the time. I'm oh like, my gosh! You know, like every like we're, again, like first of all, she just doesn't tell me anything, right? So like, well, that is true. when we all had that, that that meeting the other night, she's like, "Hey, we got a meeting at,", at uh, and then she said at seven, and then I'm like, I'm doing something, and and I hear her talking. I was like, I thought you had. We said we had this meeting at seven. She's like, seven East Coast. I was like, yeah, we're not on the East Coast. Why would you tell me seven then? So, I mean, and then- Brendan's so answer so being just like, in general is crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I think like, that's funny too. Cause like one, I feel like as a couple, you can always find something, but you like, you know, love your person through it. Mm -hmm. We love, you love your person. Also harder. <laughs> well, let's not get into that. Okay. Uh, um. Okay, wait, let me see. Do they, do you two still have cameo? That was another question. Oh, yeah, we have a America, AmeriCorps, no, we're not complaining about Rachel. Thank you. <laughs> AmeriCorps' biggest fan wants to know if you still have cameo. Yeah, we have yeah. Our, our joint one. We have separate ones and then we have a joint one where okay. we'll do like couples. And our question is like, we don't, and stuff. we don't get happy birthdays anymore. It's all like America and Corey. Talk about your five favorite things about oh. each other. Oh, that's so, cute. So we'll, like, you know, we'll argue or something, and I'll be like pissed oh, off. Cameo. And I'll be like, oh, I have to do this cameo. Oh, we and the do question... that all the time. Like, right before, we're like yelling at each other, and I'm like, just look happy for the cameo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. five, things you, five things you love about Corey. When did you realize you were in love with oh, Corey? And I'm like, oh, and... those are cute. <laughs> So, yeah. those. Okay. Well, we, I still have a million questions. It's like, you've been here for an hour. I don't want to take up all your morning. I really appreciate you too. Everyone in the chat, come join us on the cruise. You'll get to do this with us the whole time. Like <laughs> we will be doing this. Maybe we do like, uh, maybe we do have just like a couple's like chat where we just kind of like interview each other on the cruise or something. And well, I mean, I, honestly, ask questions. Rachel and I did this, I mean, it's been a long time now, but we did this at the New York State Fair with Jeff and Jordan. Yeah. And we had a lot of people come out for it, but yeah. we just let the audience ask questions. And honestly, they, I mean, they loved it because we, a lot of times, they're not always the same questions, but you gotta answer them on the spot, mm -hmm. but people liked it. And I, I think that'd probably be more enjoyable than a comedy routine. Okay, our comedy 
show is going to be really fun too. Oh, but and we did when we did it with Jeff and Jordan, we had questions for like the other couple that we came up with, and then they had questions mm -hmm. for us that they came up with, and they were all like couples questions, yeah. like some Big Brother stuff, some like yeah. just couple stuff. But everyone that, that we had a huge audience for that, and everyone really liked it, and we had a lot of fun. And it was in what Rochester, right? Rochester. New York. It was in Rochester, New York. So this, yeah, that was like ten years ago. Yeah maybe 12 years ago god knows it was a long time but it was fun we were with jeff and jordan okay links in bio um for the cruise um 200 tickets available 200 rooms available it's going to be really fun um they have a lot of stuff going on on the cruise we'll be there zip lining rock climbing um water slides pool bars escape rooms um uh, so now our, all the links in the bio are going to be on all of our instagram all pages. of our instagram yeah. pages yeah, yeah. yep so, okay, and then said, go on each other's podcasts. We will. We love everyone that t tuned in. Thank you so much. I asked for 30 minutes of their time, and they gave us an hour. So, thank you. We appreciate hey, you. Corey, good luck with the L set. When yes. are you taking it? I'm taking it this fall, so October, November. All right. Okay. So, lots and lots of studying. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. Good right. luck. Well, good luck, and it's good to see you. We'll do this again. Yeah. We'll, we'll do you, it. you two are so fun. <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all are, this is insane. I couldn't sleep last night. Oh. I was just talking about starting. I'm like, I cannot believe I want to FaceTime with friends. Rachel, don't like this. It was like, oh my God, America's late. I'm like, no, she's pacing around her room. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what it's like here. feel better. We couldn't sleep last night either because there was two kids in our bed. That's true. And a dog. And, yeah. a, and a thousand stuffies. There was yeah. like last night, a door put a thousand stuffies in the bed. I'm yeah. not exaggerating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's our life. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Like, I, this is insane. Like, I'm well, good. so and maybe excited. When, when, on the cruise, we'll get to the six pages of questions that I never got to on this Instagram live for an hour. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and lots of karaoke, for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I used to be, I used to have a, a, a problem. I used to be a I'm ready. karaoke, so. We'll prep some songs. Yeah. It'll be fun. Yeah, Okay. Absolutely. Well, bye, you two. It's so good to see you. And everyone, yeah. join us on the cruise. It's going to yeah. be so fun. Bye, y'all. Thank bye. you. Bye-bye. Thank you.